For years now, the Portal series remains one of the benchmarks for first-person puzzle platform games. With Portal first released in 2007 and Portal 2 arriving in 2011, it has been over a decade now since a new game has been added to the franchise. Considering the series has essentially universal praise from any publication you can think of, has won a stupid amount of awards and has sold millions of copies, it's crazy to me that Portal 3 still hasn't been announced or hinted at. In an interview with Did You Know Game, Valve writer Eric Walpole, who contributed to both Portal 1 and 2, stated that he and Jay Pinkerton, who helped write the story for Portal 2, has a pretty awesome starting point for Portal 3. That's all well and good, but one aspect of the interview I found interesting was that at Valve, there is no formal pitch process for getting a game made. Us having the idea versus actually committing to making a game is a very different thing. It's not unknown, but there's no formal pitch process at Valve either. It's always kind of a grassroots campaign, I guess. This approach isn't something new within Valve. For several years now, Valve has been known to use a flat structure in which employees can freely decide what projects they want to work on. Of course, Valve isn't exactly your normal video game developer. With the company owning Steam, it's estimated that Valve generates billions in revenue every year. So the pressure of developing and releasing games to generate money doesn't really exist. On the plus side, it means series like Portal won't be monetized into the ground and that its legacy is protected from being exploited for easy revenue. However, it does run the risk of games not getting the sequels they deserve. Developers, artists and writers, for example, move on to new things, and the pressure to deliver a worthy addition to the series grows every year the longer fans have to wait. But a lot has changed since the release of Portal 2 back in 2011, and one of those big changes is the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck was made available back in February 2012, and it has since become a valuable piece of hardware for Valve. The main selling point of the Steam Deck is that it lets you take your Steam library or away from your PC and carried wherever you want to go. Which is a pretty amazing selling point with around 7,000 games on Steam optimized for this handheld console. Over 1 million units have been sold which is pretty impressive given the lack of mainstream advertising and global supply for parts still being an issue. However, as Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft know, big game sell hardware. With Valve developing this ecosystem for themselves, a title like Portal 3 coupled along with the Steam Deck would no doubt make banked for Gabe Newell. Portal 2 has often been regarded as one of the greatest games made of all time. From its gameplay to its humour, it's arguably the complete game. Obviously for fans, there would be a question mark as to how the story would continue with Portal 3 given Shell's story was wrapped up nicely. If I made this video a year ago, I'd probably have a bunch of ideas that could work but given the main two writers from Portal 2 already have a starting point in mind, I don't think fans should worry too much about where the story could go next. I think after Portal 1 and 2, the writing team deserves all the trust and faith we can give them. I think the burning question Valve has is, how can they make Portal 3 better from a gameplay perspective? Valve isn't exactly known for copying and pasting games of little to no improvement. With Portal 2 being released in 2011, so development most likely beginning pre-2010, it would be exciting to see what Portal 3 could look like with the technology available in 2023. All the way back in April 2022, the same writer, Eric Walpole, stated that we've got to start Portal 3. That's my message to whoever. I am not getting any younger. We are reaching the point where it's crazy to think that we're literally going to be too old to work on Portal 3, so we should just do it. With Eric being very vocal across the year about making Portal 3, I do have the slight of hopes that maybe something is in the works. This is more blind optimism than actual evidence, but you've got to feel some people at Valve are like, let's put this, we're scared of the number three rumor to bed. Whether Portal 3 is a prequel for the series or a sequel, I would buy it on day one. Sure, we probably don't need a Portal 3 with how things are wrapped up, but who would say no to the game if it's delivered by the same writers who created one of gaming's greatest franchises, especially if they want to do it. Comment down below your thoughts do you want Portal 3? If so, what ideas do you have? Or if you don't want it, why not? Thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.